everybody i'm going to present you today 12 volts lead acid batteries how to charge them and uh, to the end of the video i'm going to show you how to make a universal charger for all these small 12 volts battery like this you know for all of them from 2 amp hours to 20 amp hours yeah so stay tuned till the end of the video and i'm going to show you something very interesting so first things first this is the video about how to make a lead acid 12 volts battery universal charger but first i'm gonna make a little bit uh, theory about what is a 12 volt battery 12 volt battery lead acid like this come in uh, various shape and sizes and, and in all ratings all amp hours but first thing first what uh, the other youtubers don't tell you or you cannot find nowhere there are some tricky information what you have to remind is this c14 and c20 this c14 this is the c rating of charging of any lead acid battery because those kind of battery rely on the chemistry that's inside which is uh, plomb there are six cell of plomb very thin connected in series and between them the electrolyte is uh, a phosphoric acid mixed with uh, water so the chemistry behind this the charging for any kind of uh, lead acid battery is C14 C20 is the discharge rate so you have to remember C14 and C20 all right so let's take this battery for example as you can see now this is a 12 volts yeah 4.5 amp hours and is uh, written here 20 HR 20 HR is this C20 the discharge rate after this we can see now uh, cycle use 14 between 14 and 15 cycle use meaning this is the voltage that you have to set your power supply to be in this range 14 volts between 14 and 15 volts standby use is here 13.5 13.8 is uh, written here also initial current less than 1.35 amps so you got all the information you need here on the label as i told you before c14 so what we have let's make some drawings here as you can see now pen and paper yeah so we know this c14 C20. We have the battery which is 12 volt 4.5 amps. Yeah. 4.5 amp hours. Alright. So we're gonna write this number down. 4.5. We're gonna divide this 4.5 to 14, which is this C14. So 4.5 divided by 14 equals 0 0.32 amps. So this is going to be our power supply or solar panel. Our power supply has to provide this constant current, 320 milliamps. Yeah, and we also know 14.5 and 15 cycle voltage. So you have to set up your power supply to deliver between 14.4 and 15 volts so we're gonna set our power supply to the maximum which is 15 volts and we're gonna draw like this let's see again so we do know the capacity 4.5 amps we do know the charging rate which is 0.32 amps 
and we do know the voltage that uh, our power supply has to be sitting between so we're gonna 15 volts uh, this uh, C14 meaning 14 hours of charging of this battery this period can be reduced to 8 hours so if we're gonna want to charge it on to 8 hours we're gonna divide here to 8 all right so for this battery in particular this one we're gonna need a power supply that's gonna be able to deliver 15 volts and 0.32 amps to fully charge it before we're gonna we're gonna proceed to the actually charging process i'm gonna tell you something all this stuff that i'm gonna show you today is applicable when you're gonna set up a solar panel a small one a solar solar panel with the solar controller and batteries so this apply to that don't let you fool by these solar controllers this solar controller cannot limit the amp so before you start your solar array you have to take into consideration which size of battery do you have which solar panel do you have and what power can provide and after that buy any kind of uh, solar controller because you have to rate the batteries according to the, your solar power array but this is gonna be in a future video so if you got any co comment just pop in below and i'm gonna try to answer from now on and after that we're gonna make a special video about it all right so in this case in particular we're gonna try to charge this one i already made another video as yes, you can check it here how to charge it but is gonna be for just for this one the video that i'm showing today is gonna be applicable for solar battery and you can vary the the battery that's been charged all right friends so we have the battery and i'm gonna show you now which is the power supply for today the power supply is the transformer for these lady shavers that you can find all over this world basically this lady shaver it has a plug-in adapter a transformer basically that's that's uh, is gonna be plugging in here so it's gonna power the lady shaver yeah but we're gonna have a closer look i don't know if you're gonna see it is all white so i'm gonna read it for you this transformer is rated for 12 volts and 400 milliamps 220 240 uh, volts ac and 15 and to 16 hertz 5 watts of power all right so we do have here as i told you before we do have we need 15 so we have 12 and 0 0.32 so we have 400 so we are in between ratings but you're gonna say this is lower which is not we're gonna plug in this one to the mains and i'm gonna measure it this one normally outputs more than 12 volts between 17 and 18 volts a first charger that you can do straight away for just for this battery you can plug this one into your wall make some kind of extension here and attach it to the battery straight away no problems there even the voltage is bigger because the battery has an internal resistance is gonna regulate the voltage but because the voltage power supply is bigger than the battery is bigger than 15 volts you have to constantly monitoring the battery to not exceed those 15 volts all right we're gonna plug in and make some measurements all right friends we did put the, the charger into the mains so be very careful when you're operating the mains any short any leakage that is not proper done can uh, result to fire hazard electric shock and all that bad stuff all right so we're gonna need for this because we're not gonna cut the wires because we need it for our project we're gonna need an adapter like so we're gonna plug it in and we have two cables red and black normally we're gonna introduce the multimeter 
I'm gonna put it here to properly see it or so. Better. And we're gonna attach the cables straight away is as you can see because it's low voltage is not that dangerous. All right, friends, so we are back. Forgot to plug it. I do have the multimeter. Very careful to not touch the wires in between. Oh, yes, here we go. The adapter is providing 17.5 volts. Yeah. So, although it was rated for 12, it's going to provide more than that. 17.54. All right. I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna connect straight away to the battery. All right, folks, we, we are back. We're gonna connect the multimeter to see the battery voltage. With this one, it's like 80% charge. As you can see, the battery is 12.4. And we're gonna connect. All right, folks, so now we're gonna connect the um, Lady Shaver transformer adapter to the improvised leads, and I'm gonna see the voltage. There you go, 12.8.9 is gonna rise, yeah. But because we don't have a regulated voltage, it's gonna rise till 17 or can't uh, damage the battery. That's why a very important thing is a solar charge controller or we can use this kind of buck converter. You can find all over the internet that are very cheap. I can show you, show you early. These are called buck converter. Basically with this one, you can lower the voltage to any voltage that suits your needs. We're gonna connect now the amp meter to see exactly how many milliamps is going to the battery. Because this battery is nearly to full charge, as you can see now, this gun is not going to accept just 7 milliamps. So this battery is nearly charged. Yeah, so it's nearly charged. So the amp is gonna be dropping very slowly so till the point that it's gonna be none, and the voltage is gonna be stabilized to 13 or something volts. Yeah, so we got the measurements. All right, so my right, friends, so we let it sit for a while, and now the amps are still is climbing and declining, so it's gonna make his own thing. We're gonna disconnect now all this, and we're gonna uh, connect it to the solar controller, solar charger controller, which is that one there, and to see what, if it's gonna do something, you know, regulate the voltage, dropping, cutting off, and all that stuff. So here we go friends, <coughs> we have connected now the solar charge controller in between the battery. So the voltage, as you can see now, is slowly rising. You can see here the solar charge controller has three lights. So it means is the battery is alright, load and charge. So normally this solar charge controller should have the option to cut off if the voltage is too high for the charger or to cut off as well when we cannot, cannot connect yes. connect the load that is going to discharge the battery uh, to lower than 12 volts so it's right but if you don't have this as I showed you previously just a transformer and constantly monitoring the voltage so this was it Alright folks, in the next video I'm going to show you now how to make the proper universal one which is going to involve a transistor which is going to limit the, the current. Yeah. Till the next time, stay tuned, subscribe, thumbs up, share the fun and always have fun. Thanks all for watching, see you next time, bye bye! So as you can see now the charge controller is struggling to cut off the over voltage. You see, 14.3, 14.4, 14.5, 14.6, 14.7, 14.8, 14.9, 14.10, 14.11, 14.12, 14.13, 14.14, 14.15, 14.16, 14.17, 14.18, 
jumping to 14 so this is the cutoff version so it's struggling to do something all right see ya